huh, today, California. Weather here in San Francisco, dripping wet. Lots of mist and drizzle and fog. This should be disappearing in the month of August. We should see that the, what we call the fog deck, rises and rises higher and higher. As it rises, it thins out, so there will be no more drizzle and mist and drips on my head. I don't like dripping on my head. I didn't think I needed the hat today. <laughs> Was I wrong? So a new warning came out from scientists saying that uh, Biden, you better go big on climate change issues because you're it. You know, if Trump does get into office in 2024, you know, it's, it's over. But we all know that. It's just that there's so many people that want him in just because they know he, he will make everything worse. And it somehow gives them a thrill for some reason. But it's important that this warning take heed. They said, look at the fire situation throughout the world now. We're not just l losing a house here and there, we're losing whole towns. Another town disappears in California. Suck. In 20 minutes, the entire town is evaporated by flame. And that's part of their warning, is that fire is acting differently now. They're when you bring the temperature up and you dry out the atmosphere, you give fire an extra boost, like throwing, a, throwing gasoline into a fire. It just gets hotter and hotter and more violent, makes its own weather, which can then cause thunderstorms and then it ignites more fires in front of where it's headed, usually is the case. And so the fire just spreads ever faster and faster, and you can get people trapped in there. The warning goes out. Biden, are you listening? Are you listening? You're not talking about tailpipe emissions. We're talking about getting rid of cars altogether, going electric rail for now, and electric bus systems, and make it so good, you know, that it works, it works really well, faster than it was when, when you took a car somewhere. Electric rail can be run by solar, wind, hydro, uh, a number of uh, renewable energy sources. It just makes no sense that we're still trying to perfect the cars if that's the way of the future, when it can't be because of all the traffic. You've got all these new people, about 800 to 400,000 a day, being born on this planet. Well, 18 years away from that, you're going to have them driving. Well, 18 years ago, all the babies that were born are now dr wanting to drive and add to the more congestion. It just goes on and on until we're just jam-packed with cars. When are we going to learn to start using our heads and use our engineering, our beautiful engineering skills as humans to make ourselves a, a complete electric system on transportation? You can use high-speed tube transport to get ourselves from one place of the planet to another in a very short time. That needs to have a lot of money put into it. Biden, that would be an excellent choice if it was me. I'd do high-speed rail and high-speed tube transport. That's where I'd put my money. Along with uh, trying to get rid of some of these freeways and highways so that we can return some of this area back to the way it was before. We put the highways in, oh, surrounded by people. Anyway, it's a short video today, it's a weekend and all. And I definitely do appreciate all the comments on the last video. I love the comments on this video, the ups, the downs, and the new subscribers. And until next time.